Greetings again, Maniacs. We've got a first look of the Centurion version 2 from Cloud Chasers Incorporated. We've got three colors that I was able to get out of a total of four, and there's two different deck designs. So what we're going to be doing today is going through and showing you the three that I have, three color choices, and the two decks. So let's just jump right into it. Your first style is a clamp style deck. Two post, got two really beefy tight O-rings. There's your bottom. So that's kind of what you're looking at. It also has the uh, squonk pin that is included with it, so you can change that 510 pin out and turn this into a squonker. So that's what the deck looks like. So you're kind of looking if you need to pause the damn thing or whatnot. So that's what the deck. The barrel that comes with it on it has this hole pattern right here. Each hole can be changed, shut off individually, like kind of like the Archon was. You've got Cloud Chasers Incorporated on one side, and then you have the new Centurion logo on this side, which is bad fucking ass as far as I'm concerned. There we go. And then your top cap, with your airflow control, and then this very wide bore chuff. Inside the box, you have another chuff made of, what is that, Ultim? Yeah, Ultim, and it's still pretty wide bore as well. Um, put the two side by side, and I mean, that's pretty spot on close. So that, you get this barrel here, which has two slots, like so, still has the same engraving on each one of them. And you get this one, which has the old style Centurion Airflow, which is the one I always preferred. And it still has the same logos. Inside this box right here is O-rings and your replacement squonk pin. So if we put this back together. So that's your post, the your clamp post uh, deck on the inside. Now we'll go to the four post. So you've got your four post. Notice how the post holes are squared off. That's going to be really, really kick ass for those who want, you know, multi core belts. It's not going to bend them or anything like that. They'll go down flush. You're looking at flathead screws on each of them. It's kind of the same bottom. This one also does squonking. You just change that pin out there. And what it does is it comes out from the center T-post. There'll be two holes down there, one on each side at the bottom of that T-post. And that's where your liquid will come out. It's pretty freaking cool. And everything else is kind of the same with it, what's in the box. So we'll put this one back together. So those are your two different type of posts. And then we'll go through and we'll show you what each one of them looks like in turn. We have your stainless steel. Your brass. And then your multicolored one or rainbow effect looking one. And each one of these are a little bit different as far as the heat treating pattern goes. So that is your first look. I have not built on one. I have not used it yet. Um, but I kind of wanted to get one out there because nobody else has a picture. Boy, that 510 needs to be screwed in, doesn't it? Um, no one else has anything out there right now on... Um, anything about these as far as the way they look or anything like that so I figured I would just put them side by side I just got them in today I'll have these up on apotheosis.com um, probably sometime this week so here we go there's all three there's a black version but it was not available for sale when I bought these so you know, I can't give you a picture of that, but, it, you know, it's going to be black. Big whoop. So, like I said, these will be on apotheosis.com this coming week. 
the retail on these will be $64.95. So there you go, people. Enjoy. Talk to you later.